but it's how you living now. You just gon' front on what you used to know. All right, I see you. Do you think? What do you mean? I can hear myself, but only because I'm talking loud. Check, 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 okay, check, 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 check. Thanks. She's a vlogger. I'm with a vlogger right now. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get this started. Hi. Welcome to another podcast recording, Dope Hangouts with MOE Media. That's more of everything where no one's got us like us. It is a uh, horrible, horrible, windy, cold night right now. And But I am with the amazing, smart, ex-co-worker, turned friend, um, <laughs> Shelly. I call her Shelly's Vlogs, though, because she does vlogs. Hi, Shelly. Hi, um, I don't make vlogs anymore. It's what I did in my pastime. Um, now, my name is just Shelly. That's it. And your pastime? <laughs> yeah, like my, pla- my past life. So why'd you bring a camera, in, like a whole camera into here? You asked me to because you <laughs> wanted to film this. What do you use your camera for? Nothing. <laughs> I just like looking at it. Nothing? Yeah. All right. Okay. Whatever. We're, we're, you're, not, you're not a vlogger, but you are... You're part of that cult now, full time. Honestly, I was only part of this cult half time. We don't this have cult, to talk about it. This cult I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen, is called Zappos.com. Shout out to Zappos. Popping ass place. Employees have the most fun there. The boy right here is not part of that establishment anymore because I just wasn't cool enough to be in the fraternity. I mean sorority. It's like a um it's like a fraternity and sorority mixed together. No, for real. Zappos is amazing, first of all. I want to make that clear. Zappos is amazing. But it's kind of like a cult to me. It's like a cult or in lighter terms of fraternity and sorority popped in together. You have to be, like, you really have to be in on the inside to really be cool with, like, the... the, the you just have to be well. yourself. <laughs> that's, that's it. No. You have to have good metrics and be yourself. <laughs> And they, they do call it a cult, but even on the inside they do because it's a joke. So you're saying it's a cult? Definitely. <laughs> so you're part of the cult, Shelly. And I love every moment of it. <laughs> so me and you met through Zappos.com. We were uh, seasonals under Apple One. Why are we bringing so many business moves into it? <laughs> because that's what I can do here. <laughs> So, so we met each other, and what exactly did we meet again? Did we meet after training? Yeah, incubation. we met after training and incubation, and you were in front of me. So this girl right here in front of me was, was watching herself on YouTube. She says she don't make vlogs, but she was watching her vlogs uh, of herself right in front of me on YouTube. And I say, hey, you do vlogs? She turns around and says, no. <laughs> Why would you tell me no? And I just saw it. That the, the video that you saw me watching was like a sit down video, so it wasn't a vlog. So technically, I was politically. Wait, correct. What, do you, what do you call those? Man? A sit down video, not a vlog. What were you talking about? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about it myself. Was. Yeah, it yeah. did say like the about title me. <laughs> of it was me, but I wasn't watching the video. I was sending it to someone so they could get to know me. In the worst. Are you sure? You, are you sure? You're watching it on YouTube, so are you sure you won't be? You weren't being a little conceited. No, I was oh, getting okay. the link for it. That's what I was doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, what is your uh, YouTube channel for the people out there who don't know about you, Shelly? Um, I actually disabled my YouTube channel for the time being. For real? No, my oh. YouTube channel is Shelly Williams, but there's no, it's not like YouTube.com backslash uh, Shelly Williams because I'm not a, 
a big YouTuber, so it's you just have to look up Shelly Williams and find my face. But good luck finding my face. I'm doing that right now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> Shelly, I found you instantly. <laughs> okay, so Shelly, Shelly Williams, we're gonna be playing her videos um, uh, later on throughout the podcast. But uh, before that, I I, I still want to get into you know how we met and who you are. So we so. Okay, that's not if you want to say it like that. We did, of course, but there's more. There's more to it. Yeah, um, we were in incubation, <laughs> and then we moved from there. You sat right behind me. Mm-hmm. And, and then, then we moved, and ended up sitting right behind you again. Yeah, but yeah, that happened, and now we're here. <laughs> There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is what I dealt with for about three months right there. What do you Just mean? Simple, straight to the point. Now we like that. So Shelly, Shelly's vlogs. I'm sorry, did you have a different story of how we met? Huh? Did you have a different story? No, I went kind of like that. Okay. Yeah, I went kind of like that. Right. All right, all right. Let's, let's get some topics. Here, Here's a topic that... I really think is due for conversation. And I'm glad I'm with a woman about it because I can't just talk to guys about this thing all day. Um, I, I like to call this like, it's like news that we'll forget about next week, right? Because there's so much of this going on ever since the first incident. But, uh, the Harvey Weinstein, not just him, not just him. It all started with Harvey Weinstein and his rape allegations, molestation allegations, ruined his career. And this led on to other people and other people. Now you've got people coming at um, Nelly for rape allegations, Aziz sex allegations. Huh? Aziz. Aziz and sorry. A girl said she went on a date with him and got some head. And it was all like non verbally. It was verbally, what? Non verbally, non consensual. Yeah. Because no, she, she didn't say no, but her body, she said, I made actions that made it seem like no. Yeah, that um, James Franco as well. James Franco, I just heard about him, and, and he addressed it on on somebody's show. And then T.J. Miller for a second was on the list, but it was like this, like they found I think, out. I think he did. If anyone T.J. Miller would do it. I that's one person <laughs> that I do not think. I mean, it's weirdo. And and I I mean like, I don't know the whole story. I'm obviously gonna believe the woman, uh, because you can't take that stuff lightly. But I just the story behind it with his wife there. And saying, like, now this is a girl that he used to date, and she's been trying to, like, get back at us. I just think that, I don't know, it doesn't all match up. I do believe... Hi. Oh, God. So, uh, my name is... My name is Rochelle, and welcome to my channel. So, recently, yesterday, I made a video. I wanted to explain how hard it is to make a first video. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you my do bad. that? My bad. Oh my god, I hate hearing I my voice. Oh I forgot that it was playing. I just hit I just hit your channel and that came up like the video just popped yeah, up. Yeah, that's what happens when you go to the main channel. I know, I know. But you claim you deactivated it, so that's just proof. I was just you didn't deactivate and then, it. I didn't deactivate, she didn't deactivate it. And then I gentlemen. told them the name. She didn't deactivate it, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, listen, Shelly. You gotta own what you do. I That's do. what MOE is for. I do own it. I, I don't want to hear my voice. <laughs> <laughs> so what? You're like you're like an artist who makes the art but doesn't like to look at it later, yeah. afterwards. You, you have to so you know what you're doing. No, I don't. I know what I'm doing when I'm making it. <laughs> Literally, when I think of an idea for a vlog, I I have the song first and then I film to what that like the beat and what cuts are in the song. Okay, I'm gonna watch it later. Don't do that. You can't stop me. It's on public. It's all. It's in the public eye. You can't stop me. I'm gonna delete that from <laughs> your history. Anyway, let's get back to what we were talking about, right? These allegations, and I want to ask you a question. This is which is why I'm bringing up everybody um, that that we're talking about. You even know that they also got good old Uncle Uncle Rush. Russell, I know. But the Rush card, Uncle Rush, with the Rush card. That's all bad. But do you think that like? Do you believe that, like, nowadays, some women could take full advantage of their sexuality and blame 
successful men for doing things that they may or may not have done. And then just doing it all for a settlement, doing it all for the public eye to look at them and they could be famous and things like that. I do think that that is possible. I don't think that that is what is happening. Um, I think that when that happens to someone, they they feel a sense of like disgust within themselves, like how did I let this happen or or why did they do this to me? And now other people speaking out on it makes them think, well, if this person can talk about it, maybe I can tell my story so that it might help someone else. I, I do think that people do that, like the girl with the Usher situation. Oh, yeah. and she That can definitely happen. But I don't think that that's what this is. Synesthetic. Synesthetic. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I, I just think that it can go either way. Yeah, like, like these, these guys, some of these guys out here are scumbags. Some of these girls out well, here. Well, they're really powerful men that could get these women, which is why they started the... Um, Me Too movement? No, not not that one. Um, Time's Up, the Time's Up movement. They started that within the industry of entertaining. What is Time's Up exactly? It's like, I it's, heard of it. it's time, like the time time's is up, up for, for men to keep taking advantage of us to get, like, we can, we can make it ourselves. We don't need to do that in order to have this. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really deep subject. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Shelly, what are your goals as a blogger? I'm sorry. What are your goals as Shelly the person? Um, For real. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what my goals are. Um, I guess I would... I would lean more towards YouTube with my goals for right now Um, and just, I don't know, being consistent with my work and and not like being stagnant in it, which I am because, ew. (laughs) When did you start? When did you start? I started vlogging uh, two years ago. Two years ago? What made you want to vlog? Did you have a story to tell, or was it just like things throughout the day that just, you just filmed? I just wanted to show um, the world, like, I don't know, I guess from my perspective. Your perspective of, of what, how I see things and what I think are cool and nice. Do you have any uh, videos that you regret making? Like that, like, went out to the internet? Not on the internet. No. Oh, okay, you <laughs> deleted them. Not all. on the internet. <laughs> all right, Shelly. Well, I want to get to know you. I'm sure the people listening want to get to know you as well. So we're going to play a couple, couple little games that I like to play to help tell us who Shelly is. Shelly's vlogs. Oh, Shelly Williams. Got, like, three names, girl. Yeah. This is why you couldn't find my vlogs. I <laughs> know. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> All right, we're going to play this game called Top 3. Okay. I'm going to give you a subject. Top Tell 3. Me yeah. Top 3. Top 3 moments or items from that subject. Of... Subject. Oh, God. So let's start with movies. Shelly. What are Shelly's top 3 movies that you ever saw? Um... <laughs> I'm going to sound like a child, but uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the Jim Carrey version, um, Blow with um, Johnny Depp. Nice. That's a really great movie. Wasn't Angelina Jolie in that movie? No, it was Penelope Cruz. Penelope Cruz. Um, my last, I'm not, um, Star Wars A New Hope. That's what my hope. favorite was. A New Hope. That was the, like, it it was not number one, but it was the original first one that came out. Yeah. Yeah, have you ever seen any of the Star Wars movies? I have seen them. I have seen them. The last one I remember, though, was where um, Anakin fought uh, fought his master. What was his name? Obi- Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan? No. Uh-huh. Well, I mean... And Obi-Wan is in The Last Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, obviously, I got it wrong. She's uh, making yeah. a face. She has to tell me the whole backstory now. Nope, so, we'll no, skip it. No, you're not... You're not wrong about Anakin, but you're talking about a prequel, which are terrible movies. 
in my opinion. I'm not a fan of the prequels. Um, I like the OG three and the new ones besides Rogue One. I loved it. Not one of my favorites. Yeah, I didn't watch Rogue One. Rogue, well, it was not characters that you would know. The backstory is really cool, and it led right into A New Hope nice. with CGI and everything. Oh, nice. Shout out to Star Wars. Let's talk about Shelly's top three artists. And that, and I know that you really like uh, K-pop, so they don't got to be all American. When <laughs> American and Korean. Um, I don't know if I would put, put K-pop into my top three, like the specific group that I'm talking about, yeah. which is BTS. Um, they're probably number six on my list. Love them. Not in my top three. Uh, my number one, and also my top three is not like best artists. Like they're not like, <laughs> I have a different list for who I think is the best artist. My top three though, um, Childish Gambino, um, Daniel Caesar, and I really like this artist. Ooh. Is Gambino number three? No, oh, he is number one. Number one, and then who's number two? Oh, who did I say? Oh, Child- Daniel Caesar. Daniel Caesar. And then uh, this group called Super Fruit. Gambino, Daniel Caesar, and Super Fruit. So I'll, that's uh, one, two, three. Mm-hmm. What's Super Fruit like? Yeah, put me on to them. That, they sound interesting. They are super interesting. It's actually, have you ever heard of the group, uh, the Pentatonics? <laughs> <laughs> it's a yes These or no. These sound like some things from uh, fucking... <laughs> Uh, uh, Scott Pilgrim versus the world. It sounds like one of those we bands. Have sex with bombs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, sounds like one of those crazy ass groups. So you've no. never heard of Pentatonix? There's two people from the Pentatonix, Scott and Mitch, who decided to make like a spin off group. And they just debuted their album last year. They split it into two parts. And it's really good. I know every word to at least the first part. Yeah, so they're super good. You should check them out. They have really cool music videos as well. Okay. We're going to find out Shelly's top three concerts that she's been to. Oh, this is going to be very repetitive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because live music is always a different thing from like hearing the song it's on stream. Once music. you see, yeah, the live performance, it's, it's a whole different like experience. Like it's a whole damn experience. I love that about live shows. It's like, Experience. Very well put together. So, um, my first one is number one. Uh, it would be Charles Gambino. I've seen him three times, but the best one was his Deep Web tour, which was for Because the Internet. Mm-hmm. And it was just so interactive. I love that album, by the way. That was a fantastic album. A lot of people hated it, but who cares about them? Um, <laughs> it was really interactive with the crowd, like just being in there and then the set and then things that happened throughout the show with different songs. That was good. Haim is my number... No, no, no. Kendrick Lamar is my number two. I saw him Good Kid, Mad City, and also at Life is Beautiful about two or three years ago. Nice. Um, He's really good as well. He gets really into it, which I like a lot. And then my number three would be Haim, the the girl group, the sisters. Well, I'm not going to sing the song. But oh, you're about to sing the song? Go I ahead. Almost. Go, 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 go. Nope. Sing right now. I will not. Shelly's um, going to sing. I saw them. I think a, uh, the reason why I like that one a lot has to do with the venue. It was at the uh, Boulevard Pool at the Casa Yeah. Shelly has like a certain sarcasm. Like that's so on point. Like you can never tell when it's serious or sarcastic. Like you'll never is, ever be able to tell. A lot of people can tell the difference. <laughs> Like, oh, okay. You just think Your I'm Your best friend can only tell the difference, not me. No. Ever since I met you. That's why I, I talked about meeting you, because that's what is what else went into it. You were so sarcastic. I was like, what? Is this girl serious? Or, uh, what? <laughs> I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I am really I sarcastic when I first meet people. Uh-huh, yeah, you are. Yeah, well. You really are. So, like, gotcha. you just... I'll cut it kind out right now. Back, yeah. Just a little bit. Dial it. Dial back. it back. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> no more sarcasm ever. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. What are your top three of your own creations? What are your top three of your own, very own creations? Whether it be whether it be the uh the art because 
Uh, we were looking at your uh, your Star Wars head that you painted yourself, the ma- the head mannequin. Darth Maul. <laughs> the, <laughs> Darth Maul. Yeah, I don't know that guy. I wasn't going to butcher his name. But yeah, Darth Maul, you're really good at art as well as doing uh, these vlogs out here. So like, what would be your top three of creations like that? Like, and also you went to uh, you went to cosmetology school. You have your degree or your certificate. It is a license, and yes, I do. It's a license. You can go work at a salon right now. I could. Why don't you do that on the side? Why don't you twist my hair? Why don't you put these weaves in? Why don't you do these eyebrows, eyelashes? I don't do eyebrows or eyelashes. <laughs> oh, you, you could fade in it, huh? No. You fight oh them? God. Oh, I cannot. I can. Um, I can. Not good with clippers. No. Um, my specialty is sheer cutting mm-hmm. and blonding. Mm. So that's what I do. Um, well, thanks for bringing those up because um, I had nothing. <laughs> um, except for the YouTube thing, that would probably be my number one. Um, I'm really proud of what I have out there, um, even though it's not that much at the moment. My own creations, I feel like I took a little bit of time to mold myself into the personality that I am today. So that would be number two. And then number three... Hmm. That's a good question. Okay, so I have another um, thing that I created. Um, I'm really I like photography as well. I do have a a regular blog that I don't use as much. It's actually not even like something dot blogspot. It's just my Tumblr that I take my own photos for. Um, so I like that. That's cool as well. So it's I'm a Tumblr. It. Yeah, it's a Tumblr, Tumblr, but handle? I take my nope. <laughs> What's your Tumblr handle? <laughs> No, because <laughs> you don't want to give it. You want to give it to the people, let them know. I will not find give you. it to the people. They would think of me as a different person. <laughs> it's your artistry, girl. For Tumblr people. That's who you are. <laughs> For Tumblr people only. I want to ask you this too: being like a, uh, a YouTube user, a lot of people forget YouTube is social media as well. You know, yeah, what I mean? they think it's just Twitter. It's Twitter. No, no, it's chat. a social media platform. For I sure. forget, yeah, I even forget that I can use YouTube on a daily. But um, what do you think about those uh, people who kind of like get paid and make quick money off of doing things like just reactions and, and whack ass reaction videos? To me, those are whack, but they're getting their money, so salute to them. But you know, they, 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 they would you ever do a reaction videos? Would you ever b- branch off into like uh, um, doing things where you're where you're say like playing a video game and like doing a walkthrough? Um, reviews on movies that you saw, reviews on shows that you saw while you're watching it, giving commentary. Um, I would, I wouldn't like not do it. I would put a, a different twist to it. I wouldn't just sit there and film my reaction. I would do something like pre towards that, like maybe get drunk and then from a drunk reaction to this, like something oh, that nice. to to make it Very different. You better go do that. No, I'm okay. <laughs> Can't get drunk on camera. Yo, that was very innovative, for real. That's like drunk history right there. I love that show. Yeah. I'm so excited drunk for Drunk reaction. New season. All right, we doing drunk reactions oh right God. here. You heard her first. So, Shelly, I think you should do all that that you talked about. Like, that's what I wanted to get out of you. Your, your goals and getting to know what you want to do and what you like. Just stick to what you like and trust me. It's we'll not that. It. <laughs> it's not that I don't want to do it. Mm-hmm. It's um, honestly, it's. I like filming the videos. It's the editing that I and I like editing. It's just getting into it, like getting the first, like going into it. Then I can edit for hours, but just I dread it when I see like how long I film like one segment. I'm like, that's 20 minutes. I have to. Can I curse? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you motherfucking curse. Okay, oh, <laughs> that I have to. <laughs> to figure out how to to cut it and I don't want too many like jump cuts those things give me a headache I know <laughs> so it works for some people yeah I know those vloggers who do all jump cuts basically yeah. I'm like damn how many times did you like <laughs> like did you I fuck up or did you like <laughs> cause they're like right on point with what they're saying yeah. they're continuing like a full sentence yeah, that's with a, a jump cut I'm like, that's how one of my favorite vloggers he does that and I'm like like he does that to people that who's he who he's recording, mm-hmm. and I'm just like let them say their full. What's his name? You know, his name. Why do you want to know the people that I watch? I cause his give name him a is, shout out. He's listening right now. Oh hey Zane, how's it going? His name is Zane. Shout out to Zane Low. No, Zane Lowe. not Zane. Lowe. Oh, 
Hijazi. Hijazi. Zayn Hijazi. Oh, okay. That reminds me. Oh, man. Did you hear? Obviously, you probably heard. Uh, your boy Logan Paul, man. He was out okay, first in of all, let's <laughs> China. <laughs> let's, let's cut that really quick. Not my boy. Oh, I hate boy the Paul. I hate them both. Logan I, and James. And whatever his brother's name is. Not a fan. I did Jenny. see what he did. What's his name? Logan. Logan and... Logan Paul and Jake. Jake, yeah. I saw what he did. It was very insensitive. And, and, and the people down there, they don't have a... Like, they don't take suicide seriously there, which is why they have that forest. They don't have help for people like that. Like, that nice. are mentally That's ill. Real? Yeah, they don't have that. They, yeah. They're, they're that strict. They're safe. You don't believe in yourself, then fuck it. You don't need to be on they the don't. Earth. They don't believe in that type of medicine. So that's yeah. why they go there. I heard it was one of, what was the forest called? It was, the suicide forest. Yeah. Well, in Japanese. I don't know. Oh, okay. I only speak Korean. <laughs> and I say, uh. Say it again? And I say, uh. What does that mean? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> the basics. Yep. So basically, the I'm basics. learning Hangul right now. I'm really? trying to. So, so real quick, real quick. Back, back to your, um. Back to your homie. I want to ask that. <laughs> Why, why is he why is he so so arrogant i watched an interview with jake paul person and, and and before that on vine i was watching a lot of logan paul he was hilarious but why was in he i was a damn fool in china man that's that's why he, that's probably why he got that backlash but at, at the same time no matter who you are you're acting the damn fool in a foreign country like like because he thinks that he has a big enough platform where he could do whatever he wants he's arrogant Oh yeah, so is his brother, man. They I ain't gonna lie to y'all brothers, man. Yeah, the, the Paul brother. I wasn't a fan. I I liked Logan yeah, more yeah. than I did Jake always. Yeah. Um, I did. Wa- I used to watch Logan's vines as well. Mm-hmm. Um, mean, but Jake? now, I mean, I never watched their YouTube videos. Oh, okay, okay, just their vines. Yeah, just their vines. Never watched their YouTube videos. I did watch um, Jake Paul's music video. It's every day blue with the Disney Channel from the side. But the only reason why I know that is because my little sister knows all the lyrics. Yeah, man, those boys are a trip, but hey. They suck. Their story is incredible. Incredible story. Because they're from Ohio? I'm from Ohio. No, no. What <laughs> about no, my it's story? Just, it's, it's just how they got on, man. He, he talked about all the things that, that they would get for making, just for making vines and videos with other people's products they would pay them and send them free product to make videos with and just because they were popular they had it they just kept it in rotation and that's how and they that, got their money and that's that what you said in, the, in a nutshell is their story his net worth do you know logan paul's network that's fantastic there's a lot of viners who switch to youtube whose network is probably more than that yes. i.e liza koshi who's liza res- koshi respectable youtuber what does she do what does she talk about she makes vlog she's actually quite funny yeah. um yeah she's also in david's bl- vlogs and zane's vlogs i want to do i want to ask you as well do you like conversate with people in uh in the youtube dms and things like that do you network with people and and do you ever try to reach out to like your favorite youtubers no i just post my stuff and hope for the best <laughs> I think that's that's a reason why people have their YouTube downfalls because they think, oh, okay, I'm going to post so-and-so days for a month or two, and then I'm going to get... People are going to start reaching out to me and watching my videos. No, you just have to... If you have content, put it out there. Someone's going to watch it. Um, and don't expect anything from it. I try not to expect anything from anyone. Um, I try. Sometimes it's, it happens. And it's networking. Just share your videos. You can click the share button and no, send it. No, I right share away it. Or I share it to people that yeah. I know, and you know, a lot of great, great companies have gone big just from word of mouth. Yeah, true mm-hmm. that. Yeah, you know that, man. It's it's this social media era that we're in, man. It's just like taking over some, and you really can't fight it, man. Some try to fight it, but you can't. You can't. <laughs> And and it is what it is. Uh, we're kind of like we're kind of like right in the peak of where we need to be. If we just take advantage of where we're going with this social media and marketing and get the right people behind us, brands, pop off. If your YouTube videos ever got like trending on YouTube for some for some random reason, whatever, 
what would be your next step? What would you take? Would you take this opportunity and keep making more, or would you kind of be like, oh, that just got a million? Oh, okay, that's good. No, I would definitely, you know, that's that would be really cool that that happened, but I would just have to keep going on um, because that's just one video. Every day, like Casey Neistat, for, in, for instance, his videos, um, a majority of them go viral now because of how he he just continued to be he just continued to vlog every day um and just kept doing that not really worried about numbers or anything and then i mean later yeah once most of your videos are getting a million two million views a day then you start you know people start contacting you not that that's what i want i'm not waiting for someone to contact me i just want to make the content that's exactly what you want no i just want to make the content and then if the, they contact the me, people fantastic. And companies will reach out. To but that's not what I'm looking for. But it's what you need. Okay. okay, uh, okay. Well, it's not what I need. I'm I perfectly understand. fine here at my job at Zappos. <laughs> if I continue to make videos, I do. <laughs> if I. Why are you if saying I don't. company names? Shout out to you that. You started. Shout out to that. <laughs> to that divine cult company, though. You uh, know what I'm saying? I had a good time working there. For real. <laughs> But anyway, I, I, all I'm, I'm only saying this because, <clears throat> you know, I, I look at things. If you're doing something, it's worth doing well. Whatever you're doing is worth doing well, no matter what the hell it is. Even if it's not, even if it's not your like sole plan to work every day, 100% dedication, quit everything for it. That's cool. But if you're doing it, I, I, I really hope that that you want to expect like a following from your videos because you have something to say. You want to be heard, right? You want to be heard. I Tell like me that's it, right. But, uh, that's not. I would like it to be seen, but my my, I don't. That's where people get this this need before they decide they want to join YouTube. This need to perfect everything. This you don't you don't need that, and and that's where people develop OCD uh, because they're like, I need this cut to be perfect. I need this blah blah blah. No, you just need to put out content because someone's gonna watch it. I like that. A realist. Of the media industry I try you do it for the love basically I do it because I like doing it and if someone watches fantastic thank you for watching don't talk to me about it but thanks for watching <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious <laughs> why I, see this is what I don't understand right now why wouldn't you want people to talk about your content that you're putting into the public eye where everyone's gonna have an opinion is I open. don't expect people Your that I know. Your art is open to the world. I don't expect people I know to be watching my videos. That's what you want. No, I want just people. Random people. <laughs> Not, yeah. <laughs> Random people that you'll people. never meet. <laughs> I don't. Okay, that's okay. That's all good and fine that you're watching my videos. We don't have to. That's like going on Twitter and, you know, I'm tweeting all day. And then someone comes back to me and was like, hey, so I saw what you were talking about on Twitter. And I want to talk about it a little bit. No, thank you. I'm fine. That was my internet. Like, I'm I'm okay with people not talking to me about my YouTube channel. Please don't talk to me about it. <laughs> you hit it here first. <laughs> Please don't talk about Shelly's YouTube channel. It's just like, I don't know. Watch them, but don't say a word. I just don't. To anyone. No, I get know. secondhand embarrassment when someone, like, someone watched one of my videos. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Say that again. You get what? Secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> So someone that, secondhand embarrassment. It's like I, when he, I know what, but is that a real thing to say? Yeah, it so is. Like, you feel awkward because someone's watching you, your past self. On yeah, that video. I feel awkward knowing that they're watching that video. Ah. And so someone watched one of my videos, and I saw, I saw in the beginning on my emails that he said he subscribed to my videos, and then he commented under one of my photos with Who? a quote of what I said in one of my videos. <laughs> and I was like, I didn't respond at all. I was like, what? Come on, yo. You know what that is? That's, that's fan love. You got family. It is a fan. You're growing. Love. Look at that. You got a nice little follower right there that, that loves your videos. Keep making them. You gonna put this interview on your, uh, on your channel? Only if it was video, which it's not. So basically, Shelly, this is what I'm finding out about you. You're very content with what you're doing right now in life you don't wish for anything more but if anything more came along you would be just fine or you wouldn't because you just said you don't like people really telling you that they watch your video 
<laughs> it's just so weird to me. But hey, to each his own. I don't even know what to ask you because this is so crazy. You're like a walking. You're the first artist I've ever talked to that like really contradicted what a, what what we believe an artist is supposed to aim for in life. When 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 they create things like that, they want to be the biggest and the best. They want to be this this and that. You don't want to be that. The artist the artist that I talk to, the artist that I know, not everybody, but the artist that I know. I just you, you're like creating making art. the art. Yeah, that's, it's that's what it's about, right? It is. Creating, like just being creative and being a, a content creator. That's what I like doing. That's what I'm saying. So, but what if the videos you did went viral? You'd have to make communication with those people. You'd have to talk to those people. You'd have to meet them. They'll see you on the street. That's Shelly. Oh my God, I'm going to get a picture with her. I love your vlog when you said this, this, and that. You'd have to but I said talk about it. You people to, that you'd have I no know. Choice. I, I, I specified. <laughs> People that I know. We're all going to know about it because it's going to be viral. Okay, you guys just don't talk to me about it. If someone else comes over to me, I'll be like, oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out next week's video. But like people that I know, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Don't watch my shit. <laughs> Man, don't get it at all. I'm sorry. Man, don't get ting, but that's fine. Very unique artist, and that's why we have this platform. I'm so glad I, I finally got this out of you after all this time. Working at, <laughs> I could have told you that anytime. <laughs> working in cult training, I was definitely oh <laughs> interested in why you would hide. I would ask you what your vlog stuff is, and you would tell me no, and, and you would never ever disclose the information for me, knowing until, what I do. Until you told someone else, and I felt obligated because I felt rude. You, it was fine. <laughs> then they're like, oh, I heard you do the YouTube and I was like oh yeah you did they're like oh yeah what is this I can subscribe here here it is let's not talk about it basically is how that went you know what I think yeah. I think that you showed everybody at Zappos your videos and then they hired you actually someone at work one of the floor walkers said because I did show him because he asked me about it um, after I sent it to Brian, or our old coach, and he said, you should have used this video to get hired, but we didn't have to do that, and all I had to do was do two interviews, and I'm, I'm fine with interviews, just regular. Oh, you could have used a video as, as like That's a if you're, submission? If you're, if you're applying of, as a full-time position, yes, they would like to see some sort of personality. So the, one of the guys from the Fungineering team, he made this whole video, which he wasn't like interviewing at all. He made a video, put it on YouTube, saying, I want to work for Zappos, and now he's head of that. Like He's the lead link in that, and he does all the parties that we do. That's what's up. Because he's fun as fuck. <laughs> what's his name? I forgot. But he's oh, a dog, he's, he's a puppy that walks around with him. Yeah. He's so cute. <laughs> anyway. Enough of that, because we all know what it is. I'm so glad I made it to where I made it. I made it to the last leg when, on, on, when it was time to let people go. So, okay, Sean, real quick. We got to come to a conclusion. To what? To uh, the types of things you do. So, when you make videos, do you stick to a certain personality? Do you change it up a little bit? Do you just... Um, well, if you're a true fan and you actually watch my videos, you would know <laughs> that I don't really talk. <laughs> you don't know you're a true fan. You don't want them to talk about it. <laughs> um, my more recent videos that I, I have edited just have yet to put up because I'm waiting on something, which I can't disclose. Um, because it's not done yet. Um, <laughs> the, the ones that I do have on my YouTube channel there's only one video that I'm talking in. So the rest of them is just, like I said, seeing the world through my perspective to music. Okay. So I don't really talk in my videos. Oh, okay. Except for my about me, which is not really an about me. Like a short little thing. Though. It's a compilation. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> Please don't watch it. <laughs> I tried making my introduction video three times and I just said... Fuck it, I'm gonna put all the bloopers together in one video. So you made bloopers before you made any real content? No, I tried to make the real content, and that wasn't my first video. The me video was 
probably my second video. Are the bloopers online still? Yes. It's called me because <laughs> I felt like this is really who I am. I make way too many mistakes. <laughs> and this is, I'm editing this and I don't want to. So, there's that. That's why I could never be a successful YouTuber because I hate, I mean, I like editing. I just don't like starting it. Okay. Well, I'm sure your plan will fall right into place. Sade, let's end this with <laughs> lightning round. Oh, wow. I call it either or, okay? You got quick answers, quick answers, no thinking. I'm going to give you two subjects. Pick one of them, either or, okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, First one, Shelly, hot or cold? Cold. Coffee or tea? Tea. Singing or rapping? Rapping. Books or tablet? Book. You don't read no damn books. No. Three books in my car that I'm trying <laughs> to read right now. <laughs> Religion or atheism? Agnostic. Agnostic. Round of applause for sure. <laughs> right there. Round of applause for agnostic. The first time I think I'll ever hear, and the last time I think I'll ever hear agnostic. Really? Yeah, I, I'm agnostic myself, but we ain't gonna get into that. No. iPhone or Android? iPhone. That's no question. <laughs> Android sucks. Hey, there's pros and cons of both, though. There's some things about the iPhone I hate. There's some things about the Android I hate. Well, that's the perks of having two phones. I got two phones. One for the plug, one I'm for done. the... I'm done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nigga, ain't done. <laughs> Phone call or text to Shelly? Nah, I like a FaceTime. Oh, round of applause I'm for sorry Shelly. that I keep changing, please. <laughs> That's probably the first and last time I'll ever hear a person say FaceTime. Okay, I'm just going to stick to what you're asking. <laughs> this one's a three-peat. Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat? Instagram. Instagram? Yeah. Shout out to Instagram. They're taking over. I mean, I still go on Snapchat heavily. True, we all use it. Like, a lot. Yeah. But I like the Instagram stories better. All right. Hot and dumb or ugly and smart? Ooh. Okay, well, this one's not really a... <coughs> how come they can't be hot and smart? <laughs> like, why is that not a thing? Either or, shawty. Either this or. crazy. Um, ugly and smart. <laughs> I like intellectual conversations. <laughs> He gonna be butt ugly. That's what I'm talking about. That's all right. That's all right. Now, end world hunger or cure for cancer for the big one. Damn. I'm sorry. Damn. Cancer's very hard to cure. Damn. We could but probably could figure out. We could figure out world hunger. We could figure that out. <coughs> um, cancer. Mm, that's that's a rough one. I mean, personally, I don't know anyone who has cancer. That's a hard one. No, the, no like it's both answers are. It sucks to answer yeah. that question. <laughs> that's like, why I, I feel like a last. terrible person, but also <laughs> there's a lot of hungry people. Yeah, you see so many homeless in Las Vegas too. Not man. It's just yeah. Sad. Like, I mean, there's even all over. All over. It sucks. I mean, clear clean water should be one of those. Part of that's part of it, yeah, of course. But that's all I have for you. You know what I'm saying? We can only do so much, but we can do what we can. That's M-O-E. That's more of everything. A platform community where artists and entrepreneurs of every genre can come together and cut out the damn middle man. Because no one's got us like us. You can follow us at... M-O-E-X Media on Instagram and Twitter, www.moreofeverythingmedia.com. Follow your boy, Simo, at First Pick C. That's First Pick C-E-E -E on Instagram and Twitter. And Shelly, Shelly, I need you for this one. Where can they find you on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, etc.? Give us something. Come on. Give us something before we leave. Well, both of my handles are for um, Instagram and Twitter are almost the same. Uh, it's L I L Shell W on Instagram, <laughs> and then Twitter is the same thing with an X at the end of it. And my YouTube channel is Fuck You. <laughs> 
All right, that's how you, you already have gave it. it to them. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we have for today, man. Subscribe, post production, take us out. Uh, 2016 is the whip. 25 on the jewels that I had to get. Broke the rules and I still grew my little set. I took six months off cause I couldn't rest. Even got the new phone, didn't store your number. Took him around a phone call thinking it was money. Let it ring four times hoping you ain't hit me. New phone, who this? It's my old shorty. Whoa, whoa. You told me to leave you alone. Must I see me in my zone? New man is creeping your home. You wanna be friends all again? Take it back just like hair in a coat. Bring you back to the condo, it is on. She say, hold on, yo, hold on, this is wrong. If you think I'm sleeping with you, boy, go on. Nigga, nice one. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I'm Switching up the rules, switching up the game I can't even leave, you want me to stay the Life is set and go, hold they want a day Why can't I relay? Probably twist you up if you see me straight Hope you clench your chest when I find a mate But you with that much rage, might just shoot me in the face Might just shoot me in the face Oh my God, are you okay? I don't think you're really straight Cause a nigga like me, he gon' always be alright